Hey YouTube, I'm Paradox112 here. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the uh, yesterday's snapshot uh, for Minecraft, which is 13w04a. Uh, I forgot that it was snapshot day yesterday, so I'm making this today. But anyway, let's get into this. Let me just empty my inventory from all the stuff I don't need at the minute. Um, so this is week four of 2013, and there's quite a lot of changes. So let's going to start over here, just because this is the best one to start with, really. Uh, if you didn't already know, if you haven't heard, uh, bone meal has been nerfed. So if you use bone meal uh, on things, it won't grow it instantly like it used to. You'd have to do it a few times. So I don't really like this change, and I wish they hadn't added it. Um, but they also did add a cool little new effect. So if you look at it, you can see it also has a little green effect around it. And it's seven, I think, to grow a full wheat or pumpkin or melon or something like that. So you can see, it does take quite a while. Uh, to do that. So as I said, it's the same for uh, pumpkins and uh, melons. So pumpkins there, melons here. Uh, so yeah, and then you obviously do have to wait for the pumpkin to grow or the melon to grow. Uh, and also for trees, it's I think two, um, which isn't enough, I don't think, because if you think about it, there's quite a lot more of a tree than there is of wheat, which takes seven. So I think maybe seven for a tree and two for wheat or something like that would be quite a lot better um so yeah next thing is uh they've added a new trial sort of thing for scoreboards in fact i'll go over that next because the first thing i want to say is there is a new feature that's supposed to be that says mobs are now scared of rails so they won't like stay on them if you're trying to ride a track and you won't get the problem of mobs getting in the way and send you back the other way um, but it doesn't really seem to be working very well. They don't stop and stand on the rails, but they do still cross them, which could still be a problem. Um, so, yeah. And this thing, which I'll explain now. <coughs> so, basically, they added a new thing uh, called a scoreboard, which you use with commands and a command block. And basically what it does is, if you look at this command block, it says, slash test for at player score kills minimum of six. So, if, it, if I kill a minimum of six things or players... Uh, then it will uh, activate the redstone here when I press the button or I activate the um, the command block. So the first thing you'll have to do this note is they added a new command slash scoreboard. So like that and it gives you a few little options there. But uh, the main command to activate the kill counting thing is you paste in this one which is scoreboard slash objectives add kills total kill count kills um, so that's the command for that uh, I'll put the commands you'll need for this in the description below so when you type that in it'll say added new objective kills successfully so now if I kill things it will count them up but if you wanted to make it so that uh, it's uh, it counts the or it shows it in the sidebar um, then you could do slash scoreboard objectives objectives Sorry, I'm not very good at doing this. Uh, set display sidebar kills. So yeah, I'll put that in the description as well if you took that in. Uh, I've typed something wrong. Oh yeah, set display is one word. <coughs> um, and then I'll say added new display objective in slot sidebar. So if I just set it to day. Um, so now, if I kill these mushrooms, I don't know why I chose mushrooms, but um, whatever. So if I kill one of these now, if you look at the sidebar on the right, you'll see it'll say kills iPlex 1 or 2 1. And that'll stay there. And if you kill something else, then it will say 2, uh, something else, it'll say 3, and so on and so on. So that command block said 6 for minimum. So if I activate, try and activate that now, as you can see nothing will happen with the comparator but if we kill get our kill thing up to six which is why I said it uh, so now it's on six if we click the command block it should activate the redstone and turn the piston on which could be anything it could be a door or trap door or something like that so it's a really cool feature and I definitely like that so I'm not exactly sure there's a command called scoreboard players which just tells you who is being tracked by the scoreboard system. Um, so that's pretty cool. 
uh, and also this will be in the description as well if you need that to set the command block. Um, and yeah, there's a few other scoreboard commands which I'll not go over. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool thing I like. <coughs> um, so they've also added some new things to dispensers. Uh, so as you can see here, I've got some never wreck in front of this and three flint and steels. I don't need three, but I just put three in to test something else uh, out earlier. But now, if you have flint and steel in the dispenser and you activate it, it'll now shoot out fire and it'll also give usage to the flint and steel. So that's pretty cool. Another thing, if you have bone meal in the dispenser, it'll activate the bone meal. And obviously, since the bone has been nerfed, it's uh, it's going to take a lot longer to actually grow the thing, as you can see there. Next thing is if you stand in front of a dispenser, uh, one block in front of it, because it just has to be one block. As you can see, I've got diamond armor in here, not wearing any. And if I click the button, it will equip the armor that is in the dispenser on me. So it's, it's a pretty cool thing um, there. And as you can see, it is equipped. And I definitely like that. It's good for adventure maps as well as some of these other ones. Another thing is you can also have dispensers facing up or down. So on all six sides rather than just four of them. Uh, so as you can see I've got arrows in here, you can just shoot the arrows up or down or something like that. So it's a pretty cool feature and it also works for droppers if I show you here. You can place droppers like so and like so. So it's, it just depends which way you place it from. Um, so that's pretty cool. Another thing is, now one of the other features of the new dispensers is if you have TNT in there and you activate the dispenser it will shoot out a primed TNT and as you can see it will eventually blow up. Uh, it didn't blow up that dispenser the first time, but oh well. Um, and so yeah, that's pretty much it for this snapshot. Uh, there's also a lot of new bugs fixed as well. Some, um, just some normal bugs that you would expect um, to be fixed. And uh, yeah, other than that, um, that's about it. That's noticeable. Uh, so if I missed anything, please leave it in the description below or in the comments section. And um, yeah, so that's it. Also, you can check out the other snapshot videos by checking out the playlist, which I'll link in the description below. And also, you can download the snapshot from Mojang's website, which the link will also be in the description below, too. Um, so, yeah, that is it. If you like this video, please thumbs up, favorite, and subscribe. It really does help out a lot. And if you subscribe, you will get updates on your YouTube homepage when I upload new videos. Um, so, yep, yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.